वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट अवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in our comment box thank you hello everyone welcome to software simulation laboratory today we are going to perform experiment number 8 title to transform data stored in cartesian coordinates to cylindrical coordinates and spherical coordinates and vice versa cartesian coordinate system consists of three axes that is x y and z and x y and z have numerical values these x y z values are used to denote the position of the point in cylindrical coordinate system is a three three dimensional coordinate system that specified point position by distance from chosen reference it is specified using rho phi and z spherical three dimensional coordinate system is specified using r theta and phi where r is the radian distance theta is polar angle and phi is angle of projection so let us understand how to convert cartesian to cylindrical and spherical and vice versa using matlab so let's get started we'll go to file new script now we'll write a program over here okay so now we have written the program now let us understand the program clc clears all the data in the command window clear all clears all the objects in workspace close all closes all the figure windows y is equal to input this command takes the user input from 1 to 6 that is the user wants which type of conversion cartesian to cylindrical cylindrical to cartesian etc and stores that number in y y can take values from 1 to 6 and each y value of y has a co corresponding case like case 1 is used for cartesian to cylindrical conversion case 2 is used for cylindrical to cartesian case 3 is for cartesian to spherical case 4 is for spherical to cartesian case 5 is for cylindrical to spherical and case 6 is for spherical to cylindrical now let us understand the first case in the first case x equal to input enter x y z in this we store the cartesian coordinates x y z in the form of array and store them in the variable x car to pole command converts this cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates and corres and stores them in row phi and z as we have discussed earlier that that cylindrical coordinates have are specified using row phi and z we get these values as row phi and z and it, it is displayed at the command window and break statement ends over here and you get at the and at the output you get row phi and values of row phi and z likewise case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 case 6 cart to uh, polar to cartesian converts the cylindrical coordinates to cartesian cart to sphere converts to cartesian to spherical spherical to cart converts spherical coordinates to cartesian coordinates and similarly all the other cases you can see all the last case is default if by chance user enters a number apart from 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 that is 7 or 8 or anything it will be displayed as invalid choice So now let us run this program and see the output. As you can see, you have to enter a choice. Okay, so I choose number one now. So now I am getting a pop up saying I have to enter values of x, y, and z. Just remember that you have to write it in the form of an array. And similarly, you get the output as rho, phi, and z. likewise you can enter any coordinates and you can get any type of conversion you want that's all for today thanks for watching